Tom J. Seymour wants to know, have you seen the secrets of the Playboy documentary and what are your thoughts? They had asked me to um, host oh. that show. They wanted me to really be involved and be an executive producer and be in, in, in it numerous times where I had to, on the sixth time, said, no, I love the production company. I'm going to put that out there because I do love them who did it. Um, but because I didn't have the same experiences. Yeah. So I wasn't going to sign up for a paycheck and be salacious. Yeah. I didn't experience those things. And hearing their stories, my heart broke for a lot of these yeah. women. I am so grateful that um, when I was there, Hef was married and it was it was kind of run like a strict dormitory. Like we weren't even allowed near Hef or around the house. It was very, um, it was almost like Catholic school, to be honest. There were no orgies or big parties going on. So I think I went in there in a window of time that was kind of safe. For yeah. Me. Um, but hearing some of these girls' stories was really rough. Yeah, I know Holly Madison's come out. She's spoken a lot about it, Kendra Wilkinson. And they have very conflicting stories as well in terms of what their experiences were. Um, and it's funny to think they were in the same house at the same time. Well, think about this, because I have three sisters. And when I'm publicly telling my stories of childhood, someone will call me like, what, should, what house were you raised in? <laughs> because each one of them have their own own whole point of view and perception yeah it's almost like we were in different households when you sit down and hear everyone's yeah. you're like really that's what you thought that's who you blame for your trauma you know what i mean it's like everyone has a different uh, story outline of their life and that same that's that's the analogy i would use for the playmates it's like yeah we were in the same house yeah we all didn't experience the same shit I, well, I know Holly did speak highly of you in her book. Did you? You interviewed her, didn't you? I have. Um, she was always great. I always loved yeah. Holly. Yeah, loved her. No, she's great. Now they're relaunching the podcast with her and Bridget, going back and watching the girls next door. Oh, wow. It's crazy to see how much Playboy has kind of evolved. I mean, and you posed several times. I mean, your most recent. You're what forty? I was forty ten years ago. Oh, my God. But what a milestone, though. I mean, they don't often have, you know, I mean, we even we see Kim Kardashian now posing on Sports Illustrated at 40. And like, that's something that was not a thing 10 years ago. No, no, I guess not. No. Kind of broke that mold. I kind of wanted to do it before my tits got really saggy. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm just going to get in there before, before they're scraping the floor. 